hi everyone c chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today if you are here for the first time and you love fragrance reviews and you love lifestyle and fashion videos that's exactly what i do so please do consider subscribing i'd appreciate you joining the family i also want to acknowledge my returning subscribers thank you so much for always supporting this channel you are welcome as always and if you come in here and you're always returning and forgetting to subscribe because i know i do have a lot of returning subscribers returning non subscribers sorry uh you know if you're a non subscribed um viewer please do consider subscribing i'd appreciate you you know uh, uh, uh joining this channel uh and um you know helping this channel grow now i have beast performers in front of me but they're not only beast performers they're also cheapies so i have these smell me before you see me fragrances and this was a video suggestion but that i was given by chipo chirorwa okay chipo chirorwa there was also a second uh viewer that seconded that or it was vice versa i can't remember whether it was chipo it was another subscriber but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give a pop-up because i didn't actually uh get their name down before I came to do this video. So I'm going to put a pop up of that subscriber as well. You know, that suggested that please do, um, you know, cheapy beast mode fragrances. And this is exactly what I have for you. I have about 12 or 13 beast mode cheapies here for you. These fragrances will do, you know, will not cost you much, but at the same time, you know, do the work. So these will be like your eight hours plus kind of performance. And the number one is going to be Ghost Deep Night. Okay. I am struggling to finish this. I am struggling. Not that I want to finish it, but I wish I could because this fragrance, guys, is a white floral it's unique it's fruity it's got some woods there it's got the rose there it's electronic it's a bit musky really really unique it's got some peach and some apricot as well so that makes it really stand out it it, it performs very well in the winter in the heat i find that this can be a bit too much a bit heady uh you know because it is just one of those fragrances that are pungent so that's what you'll get from from this and i will recommend i recommend this anytime as a beast performer okay the next one i wanted to show you here was anna abied this one the white one okay there is the uh a red top there is the gold top and they've recently released i think a pink top or something uh it, it's, it's a anna, anna abied rose something if i'm not mistaken and then there's this one so with these ones they all come in the same bottle you need to know the differences in terms of the box uh because the box will have the color of the top so the one i'm talking about is anna abied pool period it's not the leather one it's not the rouge it's not the pink one it's just this one um and i had to put it here this is unisex guys so this appeals to both sexes okay and it's your sweet musky uh, fruit bomb okay this lasts up to the next day i couldn't cap how many hours because i always have to put my my, my clothes in the laundry and uh, it will still be there sometimes i smell wafts of it even as i'm ironing my clothes that's how strong this fragrance is so you need to be careful on the sprays it's not ideal for closed spaces you know uh, a little goes a long way a bit on the you know potential headache inducing side really sweet it leans more musky that it does feminine but the sweetness is what makes it more you know makes it appeal to the female so if you're a woman and you wanted to try this definitely try it it is unisex but it does lean masculine uh but it does have that sweetness to it it's not your you know your typical masculine i'm gonna stay off kind of fragrance okay um the next one I wanted to show you here, and pardon me if I'm going very fast, is because I've got a lot of fragrances in front of me. Killer Oud Nights of Arabia, and this is by Paris Corner. This has got your juniper berries. This is also unisex, okay? It's got your juniper berries in there. It's sweet. It's, it feels like a fruit cocktail you know it's like a sweet fruity cocktail it's um you know it's got some uh, leather there it's got some sub saffron some uh raspberry a, a very good uh fragrance what lasts all day it's got those uh niche qualities to it because obviously it is inspired by a very popular niche fragrance so this is one to try if you're a woman or a man and you wanted something that will perform but not cost you a lot of money try this okay uh the next one i wanted to show you this one is um you know ajwad this is obviously on your Mancera's roses vanilla kind of vibe okay but the difference here is they've they've put it they've put a middle eastern you know touch to it by adding it you know that those kind of like instancy kind of feel it's got the jasmine in here quite cozy because of the vanilla uh, a bit comforting okay but it is really strong all right so this is another one that i find performs better in the winter i sprayed this one one day when i when i was at home and uh, i felt it was a bit annoying i didn't want to scrub 
scrub it off. Then I sprayed it again and I felt the same. And then my daughter came there and she just affirmed it. She said, oh, mom, you sprayed that perfume again. That one is too strong. This is, you know, what she was talking about. Ajwad by Latafa is a strong, pungent, you know, fragrance that I've had to scrub off at some point because it was that strong. So if you like cheap or you like those fragrances that are the smell me before you see me, be small cheapies that won't, you know, break the bank, you can try this one as well. Okay, it's got that... Um, the rose as well if i didn't mention it it does have the rose and the vanilla in there but it's really strong with a middle eastern twist to it okay the next one is going to be this one oud 24 hours by ad al zafran okay this one is your dark chocolate it's a bit medicinal you know uh, uh, uh this it's, it's it's got that fruitiness going on in there it's got that incensey thing it's got a touch of oud you know it's not oudy it's not too oudy you will feel the oud but the oud is not too much it's not enough to put you off okay you will feel that but what you'll get the most is that chocolate okay that duck chocolate uh, uh that is in there it's very spicy something in here to me feels a bit licorice and it also turns a bit medicinal you know this one can be a little bit too much but not as uh, uh you know not as pungent as the black orchid which it is inspired by but this can also be a bit too much especially if you have people that don't like that medicinal you know the, the, that medicinal wafts that it gives off so yeah oud 20 24 hours made it here let me also mention that these fragrances i feel are ideal as a starter pack if you wanted to start a fragrance collection and you were wondering where to start because you know being a collector collecting fragrances can cost a money a lot of money but it's really therapeutic i find it's really therapeutic i use you know scents and smells as therapy and these are fragrances that I would recommend because they won't break the bank. But at the same time, in as much as they're cheapies, they do deliver. Because it's, you know, there's a, there's a thin line there between fragrances sometimes being so affordable and just you know, gone in 60 seconds. These are not the sort of fragrances that are like that. These fragrances will give you your, you know, your pennies worth or your money's worth. Okay. The next one is going to be Anak. Okay. This is by Maison Alhambra. Uh, I've also done uh, full reviews of these in case you want to see the few re full reviews. You can go on my channel to see them. So I'm not really getting too much into notes because of that. This one is your white and yellow floral combo. Okay, it's on, it's on the unisex side again. It's got some peach in there. Uh, it's got some creamy coconut in there. Really unique. It's got some woods in there. And it's got a heady tonka. Okay, so the tonka bean in here is really, really heady and thick. So for that reason... It's got that lasting power, but at the same time, it can actually tickle noses the, the wrong way. If you wear this, you know, and, and, and you're in a close up, uh, you know, space or office or in a car and you overspray it, people around you may find that this, no, they, they might not really like that so much because this is like a heavy, really heavy uh, fragrance here with the lasting power of up to the next day. I'm actually, I sprayed it in my closet because I wanted to really gauge the lasting power, but I didn't want it on myself on that particular day because it won't go away. So I decided to spray it on the clothes in my closet and my closet was smelling like this two days straight, okay? Of course, it's going to be different if you're out and about, you're in the sun, you're in the cold or something like that. But I'm just saying that's what I get from the, that's what I got from this fragrance. Really remarkable. OK, so the next one I'm going to I want to show you is this one. White Diamonds Luster by Elizabeth Taylor. OK, this is your concoction of aromatic fruits. OK, it's aromatic, it's embery, it's fruity uh, with the florals as well. So it's a fruity floral there. It's got some citruses and a touch of green. OK, this is strong, guys, but beautiful. OK, I remember uh, my first stint with white diamonds, the original, was smelling it through a friend. And when I smelt it through a friend, I thought, oh, this is beautiful. I love it. And then I went and I bought myself a tester. This was a year, you know, a lot, uh, a long time ago. And I went and I got myself a little tester, uh, not a tester, but, you know, a little mini. And I ended up disposing of it because the original white diamonds has got this tendency that when it mixes with my body chemistry, something in there feels a bit poopy. I don't get that from here, okay? And for that reason, I think I will explore a little bit more of the Elizabeth Taylor fragrances because this one is beautiful. You get the beast performance, but without necessarily having to deal with that headiness that you get in the original, okay? Uh, you don't get that, uh, that thick headiness, stubborn kind of I'm not going away kind of feel, okay? What you get here is a concoction of fruits, something that feels like a lot of grapes, really beautiful, uh, and it 
lasts all day it performs it, it it also transitions so well it's good whether it's in the cold or in the heat or in the day or in the night so this is a staple within my collection for that reason elizabeth taylor's white diamonds luster okay the next one i picked for this collection is this one okay opulent mask by latafa okay so we're gonna have some mask here obviously um it's warm it's spicy it's aromatic it's woodsy it's got some powdery feel to it okay it's got uh it is a bit bittersweet okay it, it also is leathery um and it has that saffron that you get in the Baccarat Rouge 540 so this is also often uh, likened to Baccarat Rouge 540 however I feel this is 50 or 40 percent similar because this one tends to take you on a herbal journey as well so it is a lot spicy it doesn't remain just sweet and you know pretty it then takes you on a like a a, a really herbal spicy kind of uh journey but it is gorgeous this one lasts 12 hours plus and i find this is also a bit you know non uh offensive i don't get a headache of this one as well uh the next one i intend talking about is supreme bouquet by uh white oud Perfect. Perfumes. unfortunately this company is not yet that visible on the internet as well as availability but i'm pretty sure you know uh, uh um, you know people that or oh, the shops that sell middle eastern fragrances will be you know have will have these you know on board and soon this is the second one i'm talking about here on my channel i did bring another one called um Feyruz. This is the second one. I intend to explore this house as well because they seem not to cut corners in terms of quality. The smell here is gorgeous, okay? It is got that something in here feels like Mm, now it's feeling like cola you know it's, it's just confused it confuses me every day it's an it's a white floral obviously it's creamy because of the ylang ylang that is here it's a bit zesty as well i feel it's got some tuberose in here and some woods okay compliment magnet this one people will ask you what you're wearing they'll want to know where to get it okay it's beautiful non-offensive but delivers eight hours plus guaranteed cost like i said these are beast mode cheapies smell me before you see me you get that price don't worry about price you know these are the sort of per fragrances that you know like this one for example you can get a set of this with this the mini and maybe the lotion as well in a beautiful gift set and all that will cost you under 25 pounds so these are really affordable guys okay uh the next one i'm going to talk about is this one i had to put it here sarah jessica parker's stash for those who are worried that this is discontinued it's not okay uh it's a protection that's been a bit a, a bit slow this this hasn't been discontinued this is however one of those challenging scents so you need to try this before you purchase it it's also an acquired smell so you know you tend to be drawn to it if you don't like it the first time give it give it some time this is one of those beautiful you know fresh spicy aromatic woodsy kind of fra fragrance it's got that popping black pepper in here very realistic uh black pepper and some sage you know you, so imagine just that piercing black pepper i get it here and you know of course that uh, sage it's got that cedar as well in there the cedar woods okay so the woods in here are there but they're not too it's i wouldn't say they're not too much it depends on the nose it also then turns musky really remarkable performance considering the price okay really good lasting power i also get our eight hours plus from this one okay uh the next one i intend showing you is going to be this one this is going to be the last one but i'm going to give you honorable mentions as well fragrances that i've had and i've had to dispose of because they were beast performers not because they were not good fragrances but because they were just too much for me okay so this one is yara it's also a new acquisition i think this one is a 2021 composition i did a full review of this one in case you want to see that it's there on my channel it's got the orchid some tangerine tropical notes some coconut some vanilla and some sandalwood okay really long lasting loud white floral that's what you get here it's a loud uh white floral super super feminine very it's a heavy hitter it's also a bit pungent okay it's also a potential headache inducer potential i haven't had a headache from this but i can see somebody saying they get a headache from this lasting power generous lasting power so don't worry about that so that was yara uh by latafa now the last and for those people that wonder why i always talk about latafas latafas for some reason they don't you know they don't cost you much but at the same time they deliver in terms of quality so i find that i i recommend these with a smile on my face you know i know i, I i've just got four latafas here but i just had to mention you know that 
I always have to bring them because I find that what you get, you know, in terms of, uh, because sometimes it's a thin line between a cheapie and what you will get. Now with the Latafa fragrances, they are affordable and they do perform. So that's a good thing, all right? So the honorable mentions here are gonna be Farha by Latafa. I had that one, I had to declutter it. It was too much for me. I couldn't do it. Headache inducing, I couldn't even do it a second time. I couldn't even wear it more than three days. It was just too much for me. So Farha, the the, the, the ladies one, the one with the pink, uh, uh, I think a, a pink and like goldish or a rose gold kind of thing. I will put, uh, you know, the box there. Uh, Rums Latafa Gold. I still have the gold one. I just didn't want to put it here. I didn't want the video to be too long. Mazaji by Latafa as well. That one became too much. It was too much rose in my face. Rose, rose, rose. And I just couldn't do it. I had to declutter that. Oudmoud Gold. I still have it. I didn't bring it here because I didn't want the video to be long. Oudmoud Reminisce. And a lot of other, you know, uh, 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 Latafa fragrances there. So if I keep, if I find some of these cheapies, I'll bring them to you, uh, you know, in the future. So, and again, these are good starter packs if you want to start your fragrance collection these are my recommendations with my eyes closed you won't be disappointed c chronicles is my name i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you like it please do like the video if you liked it okay share this video if you want to um and uh, uh leave a comment if you want to let me in the comment section you let me know if you know of any cheapies out there you know that um you know a, a, a good performance as well um Turn on post notifications. That way, you will be notified anytime I upload a video. It's been your goal, C Chronicles. And remember, smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.